Hi guys, Ms. Comstock here. Um, and today we're going to uh, do a social studies lesson. So we have started our new social studies unit and that unit is called Change Over Time. So we're gonna be learning a lot about history in this um, unit. And one of the things that we're gonna be studying a lot of are these things called artifacts. And um, an artifact, that's a new vocabulary word, an artifact is an object that's made by a human and we can use artifacts to help us learn all about the past. Um, and so artifacts are these, these cool things that we can use as clues. Now, um, we didn't always have the internet, all right? Like when I was a little kid, we didn't have the internet. Um, nowadays, we can go on and we can say, you know, if we find something weird, we can type it in and say, what is this thing? Um, but we couldn't always do that. And so um, archaeologists, and we learned about archaeologists when we read about Pompeii in reading class, but archaeologists are people that study artifacts. And um, archaeologists will use, um, when they find an artifact, they have to use a lot of clues to help them, first of all, figure out what that thing is. And then they can use what that thing is to help them learn about um, what it is that the people that use this thing, what their life was like. Um, now we have today social media, so you know I can look on there, I can hop on a bunch of different platforms and I can see you know what my mom is up to these days or what my sister is up to these days or my friends and their kids. But uh, we couldn't always do that. Some things were kind of a mystery to us because we didn't know what was happening you know, 100, 200, 300 years ago. So we had to use those things called artifacts, the things that they used every day um, that helped them survive in this world and help them enjoy themselves in this world. Um, so today I wanted to bring you, I wanted to talk to you about some um, things in my life that maybe we could, if I could fast forward a hundred years and people like, if my house became like a time capsule and somebody were to be going through my house, these are some things that would really tell the person about me. Now, some of the things in my house that might tell them about me might be really, really obvious um, because they still kind of look the same or they're still used. Like uh, if I were to go back a hundred years, I could probably find some bicycles and I have a bicycle, so I know what they look like. But some other things just are so completely different that I would have no idea what this thing was. So one of the big parts, and you guys all know this about me, but one of the big parts of my life is I love to run and I do a whole lot of running. Um, so if somebody were to come into my house in a hundred years from now and nothing had changed and let's pretend that nobody else had moved into my house or whatever, and they started digging through my stuff, they might say, whoa, hmm. I think this person may have enjoyed running, but there's some things in here too that I'm just not sure about. And so they would have to use clues to help them figure out what those things were. So I wanted to show you some artifacts from me um, that might tell you if somebody, somebody were to be studying about my life, they might say, huh, I bet this person really enjoyed running. So one of the artifacts, and remember artifacts are objects that are made by humans, one of them would just be the shirt that I have on. You can kind of see it says uh, Savannah Marathon. So somebody might look at that and say, okay, I know what a marathon is, assuming we still are running marathons in 100 years, or if not, they could probably hop on the internet and look up what a marathon is. And then they might say, okay, so that person obviously had to do a lot of running to get themselves prepared for that. Um, another object that they might find is my running watch. And so they might like kind of dig through this if it still works in a hundred years and they might say, okay, we can toggle on here and we can go and look at her running, uh, her running history. And then if we go through, I've got some more artifacts. So I'll bring you over to one of them would be some running shoes. Now I have a lot of pairs of running shoes. This is my latest pair, but this we all pretty much know. I'm gonna guess in a hundred years, somebody's gonna say, I know what that thing is, right? I know what running shoes are. Now, something, now I have some things that might tell um, about me that are a little bit different and would tell somebody, oh my gosh, 
this runner may have had some bad knees. So the first thing is one of these things. You might be saying, what is that, Ms. Comstock? I have never seen one of those before. And the person that's studying me might say, what the heck is that thing? So they might look at it and use some clues. So the first clue is the name of it, Body Helix. So they might say, okay, maybe it's like used on their body. I don't know. Um, the other thing is the shape. It's round and kind of stretchy. And I don't know, it's about maybe the shape of like an arm or a leg. So they might like study it and they might look at the writing on it. All right, so what might this be used for? Well, I'll tell you what this thing is used for. This is used to put around my knees because I have some bad knees. So this uh, helps keep everything in place while I'm running. So if I put it on and I've got one on to kind of show you guys, if you can come down here. I've got one on right there and that kind of is a little band that I wear around my knee to keep my knees from getting sore. Um, another th artifact that I have that's kind of would tell somebody, oh, this person running has some bad knees is I have, let me just set this here. I have one of these things and somebody might look at this and have to do a little bit of studying because they might not know what this thing is. And this is actually something that I use after my long runs when my knees are really sore. I stick an ice pack in here or if I'm running low on my ice packs, I might even put a package of frozen peas in there. And then I just take this and I wrap it around and then I can use that on my sore little leg. Uh, and then some other things that might tell somebody that I am a runner are, I've got some handy dandy headphones that I use on my runs. I also have this big old thing um, that I put on my arm to help carry my phone. Now in 100 years, we might not be carrying our phones around and somebody might look at that and they might say, ah, oh, what the heck is that thing? So they would have to probably maybe do a little bit of research to figure out what that thing was because they would have no idea. Um, now today what you're gonna be doing is you're going to be looking at some artifacts from the past that you might say, what in the heck is that thing? But 100 years ago, it would have just been normal for whoever used it. Um, and they might have used it every single day. So um, you're gonna be clicking on, or you're gonna be looking at some different pictures and you're just gonna take a guess on what you think the artifact is. It's, some of them might be, you know, and you might not even have the name of the word, but some of them might be pretty obvious or you can take a guess. Some of them you might say, I have no idea. And so you just type in something. Um, but good luck on figuring out and taking a guess on what you think these artifacts are. And then later we'll actually find out what those artifacts were used for and we'll get some cool little history lessons. All right, well, I will see you guys later. Bye.